Hey, what's up everyone? This is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo. We have the brand new Samsung Galaxy S5 here in the office. And with it comes a brand new heart rate monitor that works on the back with the camera and the flash. We'll show you how that works, how it measures your heart rate and your beat per minute in this video. Okay, so here we are with the Galaxy S5 powered on and one of the new features inside of it is called, it's an app called S Health and S Health has been updated uh, on the Galaxy S5 to S Health 3.0. And right here on the home screen is a widget for it. And I'll tap that. And inside the widget, it's a default setting for the pedometer. It shows how many steps I've walked today and the calories I've burned. But now inside, I can also click another option, heart rate. Now with the heart rate sensor, I can actually keep track of my beats per minute. And I simply just turn over the phone, like it's telling us to do, and place my finger over the light here the LED light, and you'll see it's turning red if you look closely. And on the other side, it's actually keeping track of my beats per minute. And we'll show you a different view of that working with a different angle here. So now on the back, I have my finger there, and it's measuring my beats per minute while I'm sitting here. Okay, so it's 76. If we have any doctors out there, you can let me know how healthy I am. But one of the unique things about this, or say it's not so unique, is that you can actually do this on a lot of phones, the iPhone 5S, a lot of Android phones, and even uh, the iPhone 4, 4S, because all it does is take advantage of the camera and the LED, or the rather, the LED flash below the camera. So there's a third-party application you can find in any of the app stores under health and fitness that'll do the same thing. And I tested this today, and they actually do have the almost the exact same um, beats per minute rating depending on the phone. So while it's kind of cool that I can check my beats per minute here on the Samsung Galaxy S5, there's actually a lot of third-party options available for other platforms, including iOS and all other Android handsets, because it just takes advantage, as this shows us, of the LED light below the camera, typically used as the flash, and it works really well. So on the Galaxy S5, it's sort of just a gimmick because it's not a unique feature to this phone. Okay, that was a quick look at the heart rate sensor on the Galaxy S5. If you really like the video, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And let us know if you have any comments. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.